Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today, I woke up in Vienna, Austria, here at an airport hotel. It is very early in the morning, and everybody, today it is time to go on a little adventure with our most favorite airline. Everybody, yes, let's go ahead and fly to a very small Greek island called Skiatos. <laughs> yeah. We've already actually visited that place here on the channel, but only in the flight simulator. It's now time to go visit it in real life. Yes, everybody, the infamous Greek island of Skiatos, especially known for its green nature, good food, and interesting airport. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the good old Alexandros, oh jeez, Papa Diamondis, airport or something. Yes. A short runway of only 5,300 feet and an incredible approach and landing above a beach make for incredibly famous YouTube videos. Just like this one. Yes, as you can see on this approach, pilots do tend to go very, very low here. Yes, only recently there were big headlines about this Wizz Air landing right here coming quite very much too close to the ground. And so everybody, it is high time for me to go there. And everybody guess what airline I'll be flying now. Everybody, it's of course Ryanair. Right, it is right now like five in the morning. Uh, you know, the airport is kind of just waking up at the moment. Uh, I really have to go. Uh, yeah, everybody, of course, brought some of the big cameras with me. This is gonna be a whole lot of fun for spotting. Right? Isn't it? All right, come on. Let's do this now. It's way too early in the morning. Let's uh, let's hit the airport now. Let's do this. Look, everybody. Yeah. See those planes? Yes, everybody. We are close to an airport after all. Okay. I don't know what's going on here. If it's um, I, I just don't. I just don't get it. I guess this hotel is really trying to be like cool and the then millennial is not really working by the way, great one. Alright. You know what, this hotel is giving me nightclub vibes. It's really trying though. What the hell is going on? I just don't know. Follow the signs. Swiss is everyone. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Okay, everybody, normal Ryanair procedure, right? It's time to hop onto the airport bus to then greet a relatively new 737-800 with the all-special Ryanair stairs. Yes, only Ryanair has these built-in stairs, right? You know, they can be deployed from the plane itself. Anyway, time to take a seat in the new cabin here with the relaxing Ryanair music running in the background. Now, since we're in the air and it's time for some Reiner gourmet food. I mean, you know, it's, it's like 7 a.m. in the morning. It's not time for lasagna time, but it's time for chicken panini, I guess. Let's try that one. But everybody, Skiatosh is not that far away from Austria. We're getting closer and closer. I mean, to be honest, though, the landing itself here wasn't even that hard. It was quite all right. What was really tough, though, was the stopping. Yes, I've never actually experienced a passenger plane stopping this quickly. Yes, they went fully into the brakes, really, to stop on this relatively short runway, after all. Alrighty, so welcome to the very windy island of Skiatosh. I've just kind of spawned here. We've got the air traffic control tower in the background. 
Um, this is a very nice island for sure. And everybody, we don't have much time. It's already time to go spotting. Before that, I'll buy some sunscreen and some shop or something. But you know, this is really cool of a, of a thing, right? You can just hike these mountains here, take your camera with you with your zooming lens, and take some awesome videos. But before we do that, let's actually go close to town at the end of the departure runway. You know, I kind of feel like an idiot right now. I mean, things are looking good. I think I'm lost. Come on. I can see the sea. The sea's coming close. Yeah. All right, everybody. Here we can see the actual approach path. The runway is right here. <laughs> it's, it's not far away for sure. Here's my hotel. You know, this is a very small island indeed, and it's perfect for plane spotting. But, you know, let's do that. By the way, my whole face is sweaty because it's quite hot outside, of course, and I'm dragging the suitcase. This is not the best hiking equipment for sure. But everybody, we've got some operations to catch from airliners. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh yes. All right, time for the f jet blast. Let's f go. Oh yeah, it's giving full power. Oh God. Oh my God. Yes, behold the mighty power of the A320 from Edelweiss, uh, coming here from Zurich, actually. Uh, that was an interesting one, I kind of almost missed that. But anyway, yes, this is truly one of the most interesting runways I have ever seen here in real life. I mean, just the, the fact that they have to close the road whenever a plane comes in. You could definitely see the red light, right, that I was running over. Right. They have to stop traffic in order for, you know, vehicles to not be blown away. So that's kind of cool. Anyway, talking about what's going on, it's time to check the mighty Flight Radar 24 Skiatos Island Airport. We've actually got a lot of traffic here on this Monday morning. We've got a plane coming in from London here in 15 minutes, a 737. So that's more British people on the island, which is a shame anyway. Got some Bari, we've got more London. A lot of London indeed. It's that, that's kind of that's worrisome. No one likes English tourists. Okay, 2E737, now do the best you can do, all right? Let's do it. Okay, there you go. All right, you sure, one interesting experience here, right next to the water, there's just this runway and the public road. I still haven't really grasped my mind about this concept of this airport. Anyway, it's gonna be now time to maybe climb the hills of Skiatos to find some better spotting spots. Also, my hair is really broken because of that wind. That's very good. Anyway, as I've told you earlier, my hotel is right over here. Maybe we can walk there and spot from that place. Totally a good idea. Right. Here you go. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's going very well out here. Now, right now, now after a little bit of thousands of minutes of walking here to this place up the road, the, you know, the hotels this way. Everybody, look what I found right here, everybody. Quite a little bit of a nice, you know, spotting spot. As you can actually see quite everything from up here. So, you know what, let's just go ahead and sit in the shade here up this rock and wait for a plane to come. Actually, it's gonna take like 25 minutes. There's a Voltea plane coming in. Let's do this. All right, everybody, I've climbed up here. This is a bit, this is a bit dangerous for sure, but everybody, we've got the camera. Okay, all right, we've got it. We've got the Voltea, we've got it locked. I've got it, I've got it on camera. I've got it on camera. Is it gonna butter? Is it gonna butter? And it has, it has buttered very much. Thank you very much, Voltea. You have not disappointed me today. That's gone, that's gone very well. That has been, uh, that has been quite all right. Let me tell you, it's right now backtracking to the runway. Of course, the only way to get back from the runway <laughs> to the airport building is via the runway. Can you see that? Look at that. Everybody, successful operation here at Skiatos Airport. Meanwhile, we've actually got an ATR taxiing to the runway, getting ready to depart. Now, proper backtrack on the ATR, let's do this. I mean, while well, the people's out there, the tourists are waiting, I bet they'll be blown away. Literally, lol. Going full power in the ATR, we can hear it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, look! The propeller is actually matching the shutter rate of my camera. And that's amazing. It literally looks like the propeller is stuck. That is the most, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Look at this. The propeller is still matching the shutter. Ah, ah, focus. Here, look at that. That is so cool. Right, but the people aren't quite blown away. Yeah, very much smaller of a plane. That is for sure. All right. Next traffic is going to be an E195. It's coming in. Oh my God. I've, I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. All right. I barely missed this plane. There we go. Oh, bounce. That was a bounce. Noob! 
Noop, noop. Yes, can you see the plane right here? That has been a very successful landing. Let's maybe now go ahead and um, just keep walking. The spotting spot is not perfect. Of course, we've got way too many trees, not enough visibility. Let's maybe go ahead and go further to the hotel. Yeah, this is a proper travel vlog slash spotting vlog. Let's do this. All right, one thing though, there is a Tui Fly 737 coming in here and we should be able to see that in a second or two. Oh yeah, check that out. The British are ready to annoy everyone here. Things are looking absolutely fine. Yeah, now right next to the town here of Skiatos. Yeah, and it's gone. It's gone. If there's trees. Great. All right, so welcome to the hotel. I just had a nice little lunch with a bit of an espresso because I'm a little bit exhausted, obviously. Anyway, I've just checked into the hotel room. It's um, it's not the best I've ever seen. A little touch I like is this vintage key that used to, oh, do you still have? Yeah, <laughs> then we'll move over to the bathroom. Look at those tiles. Those are some tiles. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody, those are some tiles. We've even got, we've even got an iPhone here. Look at that. Oh yeah, check that out everybody. Anyway, enough of hotel stuff. Let's talk airplanes and Skiatos Airport again. Um, for the rest of the day, we don't really have any more flights coming in, but there will be a ton of flights in the evening. At around 8 p.m., there's tons of airliners coming in and we'll catch them all. Let's see if we'll be blown away, literally. Check out that Audi, everybody. <laughs> Looking absolutely good. Everybody, welcome back. It is evening here in Skiatos. You know, I'm just sitting here at a seaside cafe drinking some wine. Uh, things are absolutely looking good and there's an EasyJet A320 coming in for a landing here from I think London or something pretty much London it's all London everybody we're about to see the green light turn red and that is the main attraction of the island I guess enjoy your hobby without risking your life that's a that's a good statement Now one thing about Greece is always that the sun settles very quickly, gets dark very quickly, which is unfortunate for filming, especially since most of the operations at night are in the dark. So, um, yeah, I cannot really tell a thing, honestly, but yeah. That wasn't too close. That was, that was all right. That wasn't too high. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, easy jet. Light it up, light it up. Looking good, looking good, Easy Jet. Let's do it, Easy Jet. All right, there is a motorcycle rider who's about to die. Something's looking good. He is literally about to die. What the hell is he doing? What, what is he doing? He's about to be blown away, literally, by an A320. This is gonna go very well. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, there we go. Yes. Uh, shut up, fuck you. Yeah, because spawning at night doesn't really make much sense. I just directly went to bed and woke up early. Here we go, in a taxi now. Pretty maniacal taxi, of course. And everybody, today, let's do a full spotting day here at the airport. Alright, so welcome everybody back. I'm glad I survived the taxi drive here. Now we're back at the airport. And when I'm saying at the airport, I really mean it we're right now on the i would call the west side of the airport now on the other side of the airport yeah as you can see here we have nice views here right to the runway and also to most of these planes we've even got a very very big bombardier express right here but mostly some you know passenger planes here right now the airport is rather busy it is 10 in the morning at the moment and this is really where most of the tourist planes really come in here We've got an A321 coming in from Copenhagen. That's the one that's coming next. Actually, that's pretty much the biggest airplane that would fly here ever. So let's look forward to that. Oh no, don't touch down in the tail. No, no, no. Yes, there we go. That was a very ski a toss land. Sun class, never heard of this airline. Thank you very much. All right, so yeah, I've now kind of climbed up this little hill right here. I think from here we have a bit of a better view even. All right, now new departure, Volotea. And now we actually have got a view from here, from this takeoff. We'll be able to see all the people's blown away here. Now going full power, Toga, Toga. And you need all that power here on the run. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, everybody. That is what the airplane is causing of wind. Look at that. As no sending gear is already up. There we go. That didn't take a while. That was a very quick takeoff there. 
All right, now welcome back to the infamous runway spot. Once again, here we are, and we're just waiting out for some more, you know, morning arrivals here. All right, that was a, that was a landing. Not pretty pretty hard actually. As well, that's not been that bad though. All right, now a plane coming in from Warsaw right here. Oh yeah, it's coming in low. Yes, it was. Oh yeah, that was, that was good. Meanwhile, it is time for a little breakfast, some traditional baklava. Baklava, sir. What is it? Baklava, Greek. Uh, Arab, Greek, Greek. Arab, we call it baklava. Baklava. Coming in low, coming in low, coming in low. But everybody, now it is time for us to finally experience the infamous jet blast experience here at Skiatos. Right standing right behind the aircraft engine, very famous, also famous for being quite dangerous, Lamau. Let's try this. Alright, here we go. Airbus A321, isn't it? That's the big Airbus. Big bus for sure. Beware of aircraft jet blast. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it's gonna go very well. All right, everybody, this is what we call wake turbulence, by the way. Oh yeah, okay, let's check it out. Oh my God. Okay, that's a big amount of winds right there. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Oh my God, the mighty A321. All right, come on now. Okay, so that's it with the morning operations here at the airport. Again, we're gonna have to wait until the evening for some planes to come in again. So let's just go ahead and like chill at the pool and just wait until the evening and stuff. All right, you guys ready for some hotel views? Here we go. Windsor A321, I think that's what it is. Hotel room view. I mean, come on, look at that, everybody. Welcome to Skiatos. Sadly, we're not able to see the end of this landing because of the stupid mountain here. All right, now welcome to Swiss Air One. It is now kind of evening. There's a plane coming in in around 30 minutes, and it's now time to catch it. For that one, we need a perfect spotting spot. Let's go ahead and find it together, everybody. Yeah. And you know what everybody, I think this video should be a public announcement that everyone should visit Greece at least once in their lifetime in general. Because my god, what a beautiful country this is. All the islands are absolutely stunning. You know what? Let's step into the wilderness. Ah. Are there uh, snakes in Skiata? All right, let's keep moving, let's keep at it. I'm pretty sure this is private property. Let the see here, just climbing up the mountain. All right, here we go. Look everybody. What I found, I'm pretty much on top of a mountain right here, a little mountain, little hill, and everybody guess what we find here? The airport. This is everybody what I've been looking for. Exactly, perfect procedure. Yeah, as you can see, there is a 737 coming in for a landing. Oh yeah, there we go, two 737 coming in. Oh yeah, look at that, smooth landing. Ah, rather, all right, let's check out the stop right here. We have the whole runway in sight. We can check this out for sure. And check out that stopping distance as well here at Skiatos. Yep, really the 737 is quite tough. Here we go. 737 has made it to the runway. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Good one. Alrighty, that's what I'm talking about, everybody. Now we've got a little bit of time right now, like 45 minutes for the next plane to come in, which is a Jet 2. That's one of the last planes we're gonna see in this video. So I gotta, you know, search for the next spotting spot. Let's find it. All right, time to go up the mountain, everybody. Again, hello kittens. How are you guys doing? Oh, this one looks quite a bit sad. Got a nice little lake here, huh? All right, everybody. I think I have found the best spot for spotting everybody. And it's right here. Welcome to Greece. Look at that. 
You know, I think I'm starting to understand why all the great thinkers out there came from Greece. This is a beautiful damn country. I mean, look at this. Absolutely magnificent. That's what you can say. All right, plane's coming. Let's go ahead and shoot it. 737 landing. Oh my God, what a beautiful shot right here now at Skiatos Airport here. Okay, here's the runway already. Here we go, coming in for a landing. Oh yeah, that was right on touchdown zone. Friendly, low fares indeed. Jet 2 has landed and not landed badly. Let me tell you, that's gone quite well. While the TUI 737 is already waiting to go off, you know, after it landed. There we go. All right, everybody, can you see that down there? That's a 737. Let's film the takeoff. Well, the sun is already gone. That doesn't at all mean an end to the airport and the tourists watching all the planes. No, of course, operation doesn't stop. We can see the landing lights eliminating the runway already. That means we're gonna see a takeoff in a few seconds. Let's do this two-e fly. Now running up full power. There we go, we can see that. The plane's getting louder and it's moving and the people they are truly moved indeed. Jesus Christ, look at all those peoples. Poor people, but let's just take off right there. Jesus Christ. All right, can we see a takeoff, Mr. 737? All right, come on, 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 come on. Yes. Yes, check that out. That took literally longer of a runway than I would have thought. There we go, right into the blue, landing gear is already up. There we go. Alrighty, so that's it with the big traffic now, right? There's only one more plane coming in in like 40 minutes. It's gonna be an ATR. The thing is though, it's gonna be pretty much completely dark at this point. All right, ATR, I got you on camera. We can't really see you very well, honestly. There's something that's a little bit unusual here is that they have the cabin lights on when they land. Normally, they don't do that. Hello, Olympic Air, what are you up to? Yeah, you're actually supposed to not do that as pilots because, of course, you want to have the lights. Ah, oh my God! What a shame I f***ed up that landing. Come on, camera. What the hell's wrong with you? Anyway, you can see that was a smooth landing right there. But yeah, really, the eye has to adjust to the darkness normally. Apparently not when you fly Olympic Airlines. Great one. All right. Well, everybody, that's it then. My uh, my camera has died. Great. This will now be a fun little trip back down to the hotel. Um, thank you very much. Let's do this. Yeah. Time to walk back to the hotel. At least there is uh, night lighting, so that's great. And let me tell you, my camera gear has suffered quite a bit over the course of recording this video. Also, I have been bitten to death by mosquitoes. It's absolutely crazy here. I hope I don't get like cancer. So, uh, I didn't wake up early enough. Flight is food in one hour. The things are looking good. Things are looking good. No, they're not. What up? Alright, I think I'm done. Time to go home. Alright, good news. I just arrived here at the airport of Skiatos. Bad news is um, the Reiner plane actually has just taken off from Vienna. It is delayed by quite a bit, so um, I'm not missing that flight, let me tell you. Hi. 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 Oh. Thank you very much. from the most interesting commercial airport in Europe. Now back to Vienna. You know, Ski and Tosh is absolutely stunning in every single way. I hope I could capture that in today's video. And I mean, thank you guys so much for watching this. And now, of course, the final question is, will the Ryanair plane butter it? Oh God. 
All right, nothing to see.